A recently published paper by Mikiel Elinder, Oscar Eriksson, and Matthias Oman of the University of Uppsala in Sweden examined the relationship between IQ and prompt COVID-19 vaccination using data from more than 700 individuals in Sweden. These researchers found a strong positive association between cognitive ability or IQ and the speed at which these individuals obtained COVID-19 vaccinations. In this video, we will take a close look at these results. The Swedish researchers analyzed how IQ is related to if and when people get vaccinated against COVID-19. They did this by analyzing more than 750,000 Swedish men and more than 2,700 Swedish women who were between the ages of 42 and 59 in 2021 when the first COVID-19 vaccines became available. They were able to do this because Sweden required men to take a cognitive ability test at age 18 as part of a military enlistment program that was required for men but was voluntary for women. The researchers divided the IQ scores into nine bins or standings, with people with the lowest IQ scores in standing one, people with the highest IQ scores in standing nine. The mean for this distribution was standing five, and the standard deviation was two standings. This distribution then approximated the bell-shaped IQ curve we all are familiar with. Those in standing five had IQs of approximately 100, and those in standing nine had IQs greater than 127. The Swedish researchers found that cognitive ability was positively associated with swift COVID-19 vaccination, as is shown in this chart. For example, a vaccination rate of 80% is reached after approximately 50 days in the group with the highest cognitive ability score, while it took nearly 180 days for the group with the lowest IQ score to reach the 80% first dose vaccination level. However, we know that correlation does not necessarily imply causation, and the Swedish researchers were concerned that some other socioeconomic factor associated with IQ might be causative rather than IQ itself. For example, IQ also is associated with such factors as education level, income level, marital status, personality traits, and parenthood. And it might be one of these other factors rather than IQ itself that was responsible for the, vac for the rapid vaccination uptake. The Swedish researchers controlled for confounding factors due to unobserved family environment background by exploiting variation in cognitive ability within twin pairs. Since twins experience a similar in utero environment, share parents and rearing, commonly go to the same school and are influenced by the same peer groups when growing up, this approach effectively accounts for family and environmental con confounders. It also partially accounts for confounders due to genetics. Any remaining variation thus stems from variation in non-shared environments and non-shared genetics. The data set the Swedish researchers used included 3,375 pairs of twin brothers in the military enlistment data. Within this group of twins, there was substantial variation in cognitive ability between twin brothers, with 69% of the twins differing by at least one standing in IQ. Thus, the researchers were able to build an ordinary least squares estimation model that measured dependence on IQ while controlling for a wide variety of socioeconomic factors. The results shown in this chart showed that at the 90-day point after COVID-19 vaccines became available to these twins, the, these potentially confounding factors had only a small effect compared to cognitive ability, less than 5% overall. As a result, we can say with some certainty 
that individuals with higher intelligence were more likely to get vaccinated against COVID-19 sooner than individuals with lower intelligence. I hope that you have found this video interesting and informative. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will do my best to answer them. I also have provided a link to the Elinder, Erickson and Omen paper in the description for this video should you wish to read it in detail. Thanks again for watching and keep in mind that smart people get vaccinated.